What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so um, I'm standing here in the room where I had the engine completely disassembled. It is still disassembled, but uh, as you can see, the engine is now at the machine shop. I got the block there, I got the heads there, and I have the, uh, the girdle there because I got main studs, um, aftermarket main studs, uh, rod bolts, and I have, uh, so they're line honing the girdle so the main studs will line up. Um, while it's there, they're also going to o-ring my heads. They're gonna resurface the heads. They have to resurface to o-ring them. I'm gonna have them vat the block because there was some metal in the oil and I said, why the hell not? It's there, might as well go ahead and do it. Um, but anyways, the whole purpose of this video is uh, like a cost breakdown. Um, I don't know if it's going to be an average or not. I can just tell you what it's going to cost at the shop that I have it. I have a sheet over here I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so being this, this is the first time that I've ever had to deal with a machine shop. I had lots of questions as far as, you know, the cost breakdown of things and stuff like that. And the machine shop that I took the block to, they were nice enough to give me a sheet that had all the pricing and stuff on it. So we go over there now and I can show you that. Um, so here's the pricing sheet. Like, uh, we got the, uh, you know, to bore and hone the cylinders. They charge 330 bucks to check and hone cylinders they cost 160 bucks and so on and so on so I'll, I'll go real slow on this and you can pause the video and you might be able to get an idea of what your machine shop might charge you for the different services that i have on this page here um i know this would have been handy whenever i was looking for the information let's see we go here you got the connecting rod labors and then cleaning the vat job that's 160 bucks they're doing that to uh my block that is the uh i believe that's the caustic bath where um cleans everything off the rust and everything but i'll go back to the first page give you another uh swipe up on it <clears throat> but in the meantime while i'm waiting for the the block and everything to come back from the machine shop i will just be cleaning parts and getting stuff ready to be reassembled once it's here. Um, for instance, the uh, the front cover. <clears throat> so there was a lot of old gasket material and gunk on here, and uh, as you can see, like the uh, the coolant was caustic. It looks like in some places on the. Uh, aluminum here but i tried to get these surfaces as clean as possible so whenever the new gasket goes on here and the block it's got a really good mating surface uh for sealing so stuff like that places where it matters um i'm cleaning all of that stuff like uh so here's a rocker box that i haven't cleaned yet um and here is one that i have cleaned see the big difference there so in my makeshift parts cleaner i've been using gasoline on certain parts and i've been using uh simple green on others so uh just to get everything as clean as possible because of that metal and because i'm going the extra mile to get everything hot tanked and whatnot i figured why the hell not um to clean everything else but um as usual guys thanks for watching if we don't see you on the road we'll see you in the next video peace wait you won't see us on the road for a while because you know the engine's broken apart. <laughs>